is Stock Lock Sunday, and I have got this uh, beautiful the cast 14040. Uh, beautiful blue uh, padlock, and it is equivalent to an 1100 American. Uh, this is comparison, quick comparison. So, all the dimensions are the same. Um, everything's the same. But, there are some very big differences that I like a lot. And, uh, one is your keyway. And, uh, Yale style keyway. Which is, uh, definitely different when it comes to, uh, picking an American style padlock. Uh, here is the awesome bidding that I had got with this one so without further ado let's get this in the vise and uh, see what we can't do as far as picking get this camera moved up a little bit and I tell you what I absolutely love this padlock it became my favorite padlock very quick and uh, I knew I was gonna have a little bit of trouble picking on it and uh, so I didn't do an out the pack pick uh, but I tell you what it took me about all day to figure this lock out and finally get into it but uh, just just real quick I want to uh, show you all the package here and uh, what it says hardened steel shackle extra protection against hacksaw and cropping attacks uh, double ball bearing locking mechanism extra strength to resist torsion and pull attacks solid aluminum body added resistance against corrosion six pin cylinder with anti pick mushroom pins extra protection against picking paracentric keyway extra protection against manipulation anti-bump cylinder for maximum protection <sighs> this product is guaranteed against defects in manufacture and or materials this does not affect your statutory rights okay and it is a uh, 6.3 millimeter shackle uh, which is all the same as American so and it is rated a 7 out of a 15 on the CASP uh, scale of security so without further ado uh, let's get to picking and uh, I tell you what this thing picks a lot different than American a lot different and that's why I had so much trouble I was just I was trying to uh, treat it like an American and uh, took me quite a while to figure out that uh, that's not what we should be doing so top of the keyway uh, I'm not sure what size this is one of the smaller thicknesses in the sparrows uh tension bar kit so here's where i went wrong to begin with this thing requires heavy tension i mean look at my pry bar i mean it is a thin pry bar but still look at that tension so we're gonna go be going off this ledge right here obviously because it's paracentric and can't get it from the bottom so give it a little bit of zoom on that and here we go Make sure. and uh, law lock tools um, not sure what this guy is called but uh basically like a medium hook in my opinion equivalent to and 
and it is in 19 thousandths. Uh, click on 2 and movement on the core. Three, four, a little bit on five, six, three, four, five, Two, a little bit on three, four, lost my false set. Alright, now we're going to um, switch over to a deeper profile. Um, very nice pick for high reach pins. Got a little ball on the end. Uh, I tell you what, I love these law lock tools. I mean, they just are um, awesome, awesome, awesome. Two. and um, y'all haven't noticed I'm not touching pin one because I do know the bidding and I've seen the key and uh, obviously number one is a zero lift so that's why I'm not touching that pin and there we go that was number five that got me open so uh Without further ado, let me show you what is inside of this gorgeous little beast. <laughs> and I highly recommend, uh, checking these locks out they are very cool i mean i did pay a pretty penny for it but uh i had to buy it from across the pond on an ebay uh, ebay site from across the pond it did cost me 30 bucks uh shipping was free but still uh in my opinion well worth the 30 dollars so let me open this bad boy up and show you all why and let me just show you real quick that it does work beautiful strong snap uh, much stronger than the American so uh, I mean just all around the quality is just much much better on this than the American not saying that Americans a bad quality lock but this lock is by far superior Sorry, let me adjust that just a little bit better for y'all.
shim does not like going up under that number two pin. There we go. So, number one key pin is steel and it is serrated. So, right off the bat, we've got a uh, drill protection. Number two, standard. Three, standard. Four, standard. Five is serrated. And number six is standard. So, uh, already we're seeing some differences as far as the key pins go compared to the American 1100s uh, steel anti-drill number one and also this one is pin to six instead of five all right now the good stuff let's see what's upstairs in the Bible this is my favorite part of the lock Number one is a standard steel anti-drill pin with a, a copper spring or brass, I'm not sure. Number two, we've got a gorgeous, gorgeous little barrel pin. Look at that guy. Very cool very very cool uh, number two spring is a steel spring so now we have a variation in springs very awesome very very awesome factory uh, pinning number three we've got a very deep spool deep wasted spool Uh, number four same and I forgot the springs number three is another brass spring uh, brass again on number four let's go from the rear number six is another deep wasted spool another brass spring and then six driver is another spool oh I'm sorry I did those backwards well it doesn't matter they're the same but that spring does go there and another brass spring and at first glance it looks like that spring is shorter than the rest but I do believe because the pin stack is quite tall but anyways uh, let me give you all a nice little close-up of these pins to enjoy this one more time and um, like I said number one key pin and driver are steel pins uh, number two driver is a barrel. Number three, four, five, and six are very deeply wasted spools. And uh, the only other one on the bottom that is serrated is number five. So very cool lock. And uh, yeah, I definitely recommend the CASP. 14040 very cool lock um, I definitely buy another one and uh, 
thanks for checking it out and joining me for this stock lock Sunday and uh, another quick reminder that today is the end of my giveaway and there are about three hours left to enter uh, noon Central Standard Time is going to be the cutoff and as of right now I only have 14 or 15 entries so if you'd like to get in on that and uh, uh, get a chance at this beautiful Abloy 341 padlock enforcer please submit an entry video of your high security uh, padlocks or valuable or whatever is valuable to you in your collection so don't think that you can't enter so just show me something that is valuable to you in your collection and that's sufficient enough for an entry thanks for watching and i'll talk to you soon